The romance just keeps giving. Patrice and Eumelia, and this is not a fourth ship at all. It actually makes a lot of sense how she has all these insecurities and Patrick also kind of can relate and it actually kind of like embraces her and she's like, oh my God, Doki. Like they're even dancing, even though her hands got so sweaty that it permeated the gloves and she had to fucking dry it up, but it's completely fine. And Leonora also came back last episode after like being reintroduced. Like she got introduced in like what, episode two or three and she just kind of like fucked off for like four episodes, but she's back. What are we doing with her? I don't know. I feel like she's just on the wrong side, right? It's, it's just that she's a really good person that just happens to be in the wrong environment. So I'm not really sure exactly where we're gonna go, but those are seemingly the main trio and our, you know, main protagonist group. And we don't give a fuck about the princes and the other, you know, conquerable characters. Let's begin today's reaction though. Oh, he's inviting us over to his place. We're gonna visit Patrick's home, meet his parents. What are you doing? No, we should take the opportunity to meet Patrick's dad and mom. What? She's so cold. She's not trying to be cold, but she's awkward. He was actually leveling. Amulet of growth? No? No, that's a time skip. Just, it's gotta be something game related, but second year time. Yeah. The dragon! CG dragon that we found the opening! Oh, finally! Holy shit! It took us like eight fucking episodes, but finally we got our mount! Hmm. Yeah, what is with the egg? Huh? It's the dragon, though. Did, they definitely didn't fuck. Unless they did, and Patrick's actually a dragonborn. Yumila had. Yumila is a scaly? <laughs> You mean like fuck the dragon? No, 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 it's not an actual child. She didn't fucking lay the egg. Right? 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 Jessica. So. Oh, the dragon that the egg, obviously, right? So you mean like straight up did a dragon slayer arc? She literally... <laughs> Jessica recognized how strong Emilia is and was like, yo, can you like go kill this dragon for us that no one else can? <laughs> She's better than the military. Well, she probably wants to do it, right? Because the gear or the special stuff that the dragon might drop or even just the egg that we got, right? <laughs> this event. She's familiar with it. <laughs> the dragon subjugation event. CGI! CGI horse and cart! Oh my god, it's so fluid though. Look at it, it's so fluid. Yes, red dragon, fire. Makes sense. Damn, this is Jessica's place? What the fuck is that butler? What is that look? She looks disgusted with us. <laughs> she looks so worried? What is this? She is a demon lord. <laughs> No, we're not a demon lord, we're the hidden boss. QGQ? You wanna see a dark hole? Because she's always so, like, used to, like, you know, being recognized at school now for being a fucking terrifying overlord. <laughs> but, like, here now, it's like people are, like, low key just, like, underestimating her, which kind of, like, results in, you know, more hype moments. But is she low key happy about this? Racist? Racist man! Sorry, the, the 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 fucking butler, the dad. All right, two useless soldiers and the demon lord. Because she's stronger than you. They keep doing this. My levels are level ninety nine. Friendship level ninety nine. Riz level ninety nine. Dragons here. See, her ears are level ninety nine, dude. The CGI dragon, dude. Oh, here we go. Here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He coming. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad so far, but you know this fight is going to look like absolute dookie. Now, we watched this show not really for the hype. Sorry, the action at times. I don't really mind, like, the monsters being CGI, right? Honestly, sometimes I think it's even funnier that it's CGI and it looks even shittier, but it's like a dragon. It should be decent animated, right? Oh, oh not CGI here. Not CGI there. Black hole already? Dude, they're trying to end the fight so quick so they have to stop animating this. They're like, we can't even do the budget for the CGI dragon. We need to end this fight immediately. Egg! Phase 2? 
The green element. Sorry, wind dragon. Another CGI dragon. Ooh, windy. I'm not too worried about it. I just think it looks funny sometimes. Yeah, what else? Get the egg. The shadow lands look pretty goofy though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay, here's the egg. Our child. I laid it. You. <laughs> Joke level 99. I don't know. You say things in a really deadpan way, and I can't tell if you're being sarcastic times. You, maybe you did. Who knows? You can summon a black hole. Why can't you lay an egg? <laughs> yeah, just some things. Dragon Subjugation Raid. Oh, Alicia also has an egg? So we're gonna get a Dark Attribute Dragon? So, this is a possibility? We just like dip the kingdom if we ever wanted to? We can just fucking leave? Okay, that might be fun. See, this is what I don't get, because it was a Wind Dragon and it was a Fire Dragon, yet we have a Black Egg, which I'm gonna assume by the color of the shell, if Alicia's Light Shell was a Light Dragon, then this should be a Dark Dragon, right? But... More mana? More stronger. And we have a lot of mana. So this dragon is going to be fucking cracked. So I hope there's like a moment where we have like little dragon battles, you know? Like our dragon versus Alicia's dragon. And you know that dragon, that light dragon is going to be a little pussy. And our dragon is going to be a giga chad. It's going to fucking eat that dragon. Yes, level 99 dragon, exactly. It's got a, even a little pajama hat, dude. It's got a little pajama hat. <laughs> Alright, it's no longer just a tax teacher, baby. Oh. oh. This is how she sees her. Like, and like, it's not her fault. Even like, yes, she is a racist. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Alicia and her grandma are clans members, right? They're racist. But like, like, because of the natural affinity to light, like, this is just how dark is shown, I guess. I think that's what people are saying. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> Two. Oh, Fuck the subs. The subs at this point. You know what the subs should have been? It's not. There's two of them. She should have said. There's two of those people. <laughs> and then at that point, I would have been like, "You? What do you mean those people? What do you mean you people? Two of them? What are you? What are you talking about? Huh? More racist confirmations." <laughs> I mean, it's a pitch black. It's a pitch black shell. Maybe it's gonna be super cute, man. It will be the strongest and the cutest. <laughs> Surely no one's gonna try to like assassinate our baby, right? Uh oh. Is it time? Hello, maid. Oh, we didn't get to bring Emilia over. The Patrick's over at our place. Look how stiff he is. <laughs> He's so stiff. You could even hear it. Oh. <gasps> it's going. Yes. The maid looks very scared. <laughs> Just fucking cracked the shell. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Oh, Jesus, you're gripping him. She got so excited there. <laughs> Everyone's so scared and terrified except Yumiela. Oh my god. You're gonna break his arm! Yeah, here comes the CGI. Uh oh. CGI level 99 dragon incoming. Patrick's healing, you can do it because the faster it hatches, the faster Yumiela will let go of his fucking arm. Dude, that arm is getting destroyed. Oh, yes, yes! You can do it! You can do it! Oh. It looks pretty cute. It it actually looks pretty cute. Now I'm sure people are gonna think it's like it's evil and sinister looking just because of the color of their skin. Hmm. Bunch of fucking racists, man. Hello. What's the name? The maid is super terrified. Well, you don't think it's cute? I thought it looks cute. Scare. Hey, hey. Yeah, it's cool. It's it's cool. Emil thinks it's really cute though.
So I think this is a natural tendency, like a phenomenon where due to motherly instincts, like those motherly instincts kick in. And even if your offspring is super ugly, like you like cope and you like delude yourself into thinking they actually look good. Now, I'm not a mom. I'm not a woman. I can't really speak on their behalf. But I heard that this is a phenomenon where parents might have a little bias towards their kids. <laughs> Ugly level 99? Come on. I think it looks fine. Okay, it absorbed Yumiwa's mana. That's why it's black. Now, how strong is it, though? How strong is it? Uh, Dragon Ryu. That's a little basic, isn't it? What, what what is in Japan that's not be here? What Ryu is dragon? Does what? Oh, because Ryu is not a thing. It could actually be a name here, I guess. Okay, sure. Hello, Ryu. Your name is Ryuen. Hello, Dragon Boy. Oh, that beam just she 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 carefully just you know deflected the this this breath attack. But I think it went up to Patrick. Is Patrick alive? Did Patrick just die? Okay, Patrick didn't die. Laser beams! I would actually be terrified too. Like, if a normal human got hit by this, you'd probably die. But try not to die. Bye. I mean, I think that's a pretty reasonable, you know, um, uh, reaction from normal people. Look! Ryu's still wearing the pajama hat! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> Thumbnail. Easy. <laughs> What is this voice actor? Is there a voice actor for this? Right? Who actually did the voice actor for Ryu? Like, I, I, I always wonder, like, they're paid to just be like, <laughs> just, Could you imagine the fucking recording session? I could never take that shit seriously. I wonder how much they get paid. Oh, what's going on? Ryu grew? Did Ryu, did Ryu grew? With a big boy! Oh, he's a big boy! The sleeping cap doesn't even fit on him! A buster roof. Big little scaredy cat. It's gonna break the fucking window, no? Jesus. <laughs> it's like a cat here. Come on. I'm gonna catch you. You feel it? was like, come on. Come on, you're gonna catch it. Then he just dropped you like, oh, never mind. <laughs> that shit was really funny. That was kind of dumb. Look, come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't need to catch you. Wow. Good boy. Oh, uh, you're not supposed to see this. You have a dragon, bro. Oh, no. How bad is this gonna work? Oh, no. Everyone's gonna, like, start talking shit, right? Patrick, come on. Not you, too. What? What do you mean you can't find any trace of it? What do you mean people are talking about dragon? Yeah, there is a dragon here. She doesn't think that... Is she trying to gaslight people right now? Is she straight up trying to say like, yo, what do you mean dragon? I don't see a dragon. Or does she actually not believe that Ryu is a dragon? Because Ryu is our baby. It's not a terrifying dragon. It's our baby. <laughs> okay, that's the logic. Okay. It's kind of cute, yeah. Ryu, the most popular guy at school. Yeah, I want to play with everyone. <laughs> so let me guys, we're just going to fucking chase after people thinking yeah, we don't want to hang out with other people and everyone else is going to be fucking running, screaming, saying, please save us. <laughs> kind of too obvious. <laughs> she let a dragon on her classmates. <laughs> Ryu probably wouldn't hurt them, but goddamn. <laughs> No, 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 it's, it's not... Okay, okay. Animals implies, like, pets. Like, cats, dogs, you know, domestic pets. You unleashed a dragon on them. Uh, she is, you know, accepting and respecting it, but I feel like she's not understanding the gravity of the situation. Yeah, sure. Cuteness aside, I do think it's a very clever dragon implying that Ryu is not cute. Come on! It is actually dangerous, dude. Did you get bigger? <laughs> Patrick's dead. 
oh, I love it. I wish he'd do that to me. You want Ryu to fucking give me the gawk gawk right now? What the fuck? You you want your you want your baby to do this? Hey yo. She likes it. She likes to slippery inside to the dragon's mouth. Now do it to me too. It's dragon bit his head. Now. If there's any anime meme clip channels, this could be a very viral 10 second clip of um, that, that scene, except except Yumelia will see this and say, oh, I wish this would be me instead. You know what I mean? This is wild. This is fucking wild. Oh my God, this guy. Okay, Ryu, get him. I hope that Ryu understands that Edwin is trash and fucking like, actually eats him. Come on. Your dad said it's okay. No, it's dangerous to keep you around at the school and your fucking fucking idiot princess and Alicia. They're more dangerous. Good. Good Ryu. Good Ryu. E eat Alicia too. Eat Alicia too. Yeah, Ryu's just having fun. Now eat both of them. Eat both of them. My father will hear about this. You can't fucking pull that card on us. Your father is on our side. It's not animal, but... Her lack of common sense. Hello, <laughs> Nora! The goaded character realizes that Ryu is cute. Real realizes real, dude. <laughs> kind of cute, yeah? Aww. See? Eleonora is so good for us. Because she's got that clout and she kind of like vouches for Emila. Because dragons, like, in lore, like, they're, like, hoarding, right? They, like, steal treasure and they, like, hoard in a cave. I don't know why there is that trope of, like, dragons being hoarders, but I guess she sees the treasure and it's like, oh, I like. <laughs> Fetch! How expensive is that? Can you fly? Can you fly? <laughs> was it? Uh, uh, wait, wait, did I not understand this meme? So, was she wearing more? Okay, she was wearing more. It wasn't just a fucking gem. She just... I don't know. I feel like Ryu just enjoys doing this shit, dude. Good boy. What, what, what about the jewel, though? We just threw it away. Uh, she's super rich. It doesn't matter. Maybe. She is super delusional, though. She deserves better than Edwin, man. I just feel like ugh, this sucks that she's so attached to him still. I'm sure in, like, oh, in, in the long run, she'll have character development and realize her own worth. But goddamn, she's so damn bad. She's like, oh, a dragon fucking nutting on my head is going to make Prince Edwin like me even more. <laughs> even you, Mila, recognizes I'm not sure about that. Yeah, we do have to do something about him. Patrick's going to kill him. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what, what was that? What, what was that, Patrick? We gotta do something about him? <laughs> Patrick's gonna assassinate Edwin? <laughs> I'm down. Okay, Ryu has his own little shed. A little, little dog house, little dragon house. Something to do with Edwin. What is he plotting? What is he planning? He got a secret plan? Maybe he's preparing a special birthday party for you, Mila. I don't know. What are you doing? What's the secret? Right! C c Wait, wait, there was like a confession that was about to happen from Patrick to Yumila that got interrupted during the dance, right? But I don't think Yumila's gonna say it. I, 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 miscommunication. I, I, this obviously sounds like she understands Patrick's confession, right? But, nah, obviously she's thinking something else. I wonder what she's thinking. I love you! That works, that works. It could be a nice date. She wants, uh, she wants Patrick because she's scared. She's scared of the flight. Oh. Bro, come on! That I love you. I think he's just a little upset. Because, you know, we weren't thinking the same shit. She is just, like, so oblivious. Like, and then, like, what did you just say here? What did you just say here? Because, like, well, thinking that we had the same thing in mind, right? And then finding out we didn't is pretty embarrassing, I suppose. But, like, she doesn't even know what Patrick was trying to say. Yet she is kind of right here. You know what I mean? She is describing the situation, but she's so unaware. And this oblivious moment just keeps continuing the running gag of Yumelia not being aware, but okay. Oh, CGI tail. Oh, she got even bigger. So you want Patrick there to fall with you or just to keep you there? <laughs> what? Oh. 
Yeah, you're not worried about yourself. <laughs> Alright, whatever. CGI. How well is the CGI flight gonna be animated? Here we go. I hope this uh, flight simulation looks good. Beyond the skies! Damn. We're not flying together? Alright. I'm watching. So, we know that the dragon is CGI, but what I didn't realize was that the rest of the landscape is also going to be CGI, right? Because, like, always the buildings are CGI, just river the housing, like, obviously, it's easier to animate. <laughs> yeah, hey, say hello to them. Flame breath, come on. Flame breath, let them know that you're here. <laughs> Oh my god, we're under attack! <laughs> loop the loop! Woo! Oh, oh, she fell! Nah, she'll get caught. She'll get caught. Ryu got her. Ryu got her. What do you. What? What? You don't want him to catch? Okay. I hope you'll land on Edwin. Land on Edwin! Oh! Do we have to do that? Could Ryu not have caught her there? Is that the best way to land? All right, fuck it. Oh, this is a great opportunity to do the Yamcha pose, you know? There was an anime recently that we watched where they, I believe they did a Yamcha pose uh, reference. I forget which anime it was. It was like a recently airing one though. Oh, she's not doing the Yamcha pose. Oh, Patriz incoming. Patriz incoming. No, after Bochi, after Bochi, there was something else to the Yamcha pose. Excuse me? Excuse me? Yumila. Okay, he recognizes it's Yumila. I'll take you to the nurse's office, okay? Yumila's healing magic will be quicker, but Yumila is in your arms, okay? Uh, Yumila is on your arms? I feel so slow right now. You guys are reading, you guys are watching and reading the confused Riz. Where's Yumila? Oh, oh, you're here. Okay, he just, he just panicked. He's just super panicking. I think, no, no, no. I think he's actually super panicking. I think he is, right? Because she fell down. He loves her so much. He's actually thinking she might die. He's rushing and he like mistook. Oh, this is Yumila on my arms. And this is supposed to be like comedy at the same time. But I was like, what the fuck is going on? Look at him, he's blushing. Aww. <laughs> Other people don't know, but you're, I think you're a human. <laughs> that was kind of an insult. Oh, casual clothing. There's no shot. They're ever gonna be able to make something fit for a dragon in this tiniest pet shop. Uh oh. Who the fuck? Oh wait, plot, plot, plot. Spy from Remless. Is Remless Kingdom where? Who's there? Who are they from? Okay, we have some plot at the end, but that is the episode. Today's episode was the demon lord unleashes her dragon amongst the fucking peasants of this kingdom i think the way that like the sinister music was playing as she like flew across the city and she's like "Woo, so much fun yeah and the sinister was like oh my god we're under attack even though we had the ring to show that you know she's like the dragon re was a property of this kingdom but okay we finally have our CGI mount that's been teased in the opening, and we have some other, you know, more, you know, Patriz scenes. You know, Patrick didn't get to say I love you. That's still on hold. He didn't get to fly yet, but he was able to carry her in his arms, right? And I, I think that maybe, you know, the ship is continuing, even though he basically said that everyone thinks of you as not a human. Thanks, Patrick. But at the end there, so a different kingdom, Kingdom Remlet. I forget exactly which kingdom this was. It might have been like uh, either the Margrave's family. Is this where Eleonora's from maybe? Or fucking Patrick? I forget. But different kingdom. Spies here. Specifically Mila. wonder what's going on. You know, with the, show, with, with the nature of this show, you never really know who might be on the good side. So maybe this guy's technically on the good side. We never knew. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.